Is the Census Bureau being weaponized against gun owners? Let's go ahead and talk about that. What is up Wolverines and welcome back to the channel. It is me, your intrepid journalist extraordinaire, John Crump. And I need you to help me out here. You can already guess what I'm about to say, but I'll say it anyway. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Today's video is sponsored by all you people. If you want to help out, you can go to johncrump.locals.com and you can help make all these videos. Okay, that's out of the way, so let's jump into today's story. Do you know there's something called the Commodities Flow Survey? The Department of Census puts it out and they target random companies. The Department of Census is under the Commerce Department, so just remember that. What the survey is supposed to do is look at how many items are shipping so they can handle policies dealing with transportation and the flow of goods, aka shipping. But for some reason, a bunch of holster companies, when I say a bunch, I'm talking about a bunch, received this for the first time ever. It's supposed to be randomly given out to companies in all sorts of fields, but it seems like about 12 or so holster companies received this notice. And this is really weird because I couldn't find any other companies that received it, but a bunch of holster companies did. And a couple of them, which provided me the letters, are JM4 Tactical, which, if you don't know, I carry JM4 Tactical inside the waistband holsters, the magnetic holsters, which are awesome. And I am now carrying this. This is their new Maven holster, and it's an outside the waistband holster. It is their entry-level holster, and it's really good for an entry-level holster, I gotta say. The leather is amazing, and you can also adjust the retention on it over time. When it loosens up, you can tighten it up, which is really cool. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a holster I've been carrying. And if you can tell, I got my dagger in here. The dagger is an awesome gun too, by the way. All right, just wanted to give them a plug because they are standing up for your rights. Basically, they received a letter saying that the Census Bureau wants all order numbers, what was shipped, descriptions of the items, where they were shipped to, and everything else. Which Chad, the owner of JM4 Tactical, thought was kind of suspicious. So he contacted me to see if I heard anything about it. At the time, I haven't, so I started calling around and I found out several other companies have received them. The only other one that wants to go on the record right now is on your sixth holster, they are willing to go on the record and saying that they got one, but a lot of the big companies got one. And Chad and on your sixth holsters said they're not gonna fill it out. By law, they're supposed to fill it out. And if you don't fill it out, according to the website, there is a $5,000 fine. But here's the thing, if you actually read the statute, the fine is only actually $500. So either the Commerce Department made a typo on their website or they rose the price to try to scare companies into actually giving over the information. I'm not sure which one it is. You guys can make up your own mind. But Chad and On Your Six Holsters are refusing to give her the information, which is good. I talked to Chad, he said he would rather burn down his company than hand over information to the government. And talking to him, I truly believe that is the case. Only one person has ever been prosecuted for not filling out this information, and that was in 1994. And since then, no one has been prosecuted for refusing to turn it over. So if you get one of these letters, I'm not saying that you shouldn't turn it over. I'm just saying that keep in mind, only one person has ever been prosecuted for not turning over the letter. And it's only a $500 fine. So which is more important, your customer's information or a $500 fine? That is for you to decide. There's a lot of theories as to what is going on with this. Weston Martinez, who was the real estate guy in Texas, he oversaw all the real estate in Texas for Rick Perry. 
he thinks this is the Biden administration trying to determine where guns are being shipped to because with the Bruin decision and the, the whole Supreme Court thing, there is going to be concealed carry in a bunch of states there have never been concealed carry before. So Martinez believes that the Biden administration is trying to see where the holsters are going to determine where people are going to be concealed carrying at. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but that is definitely a possibility. I just find it really weird that all these holster companies that have never got a letter like this before all of a sudden received the letter right after the Bruin decision. So I'm not saying that Martinez is right, but he might be. All right, that's it. Just wanted to make a little video, quick little video to let you know what is going on with this. I have a story in Amelin that should be up by now or it should be dropping soon. I will link the documents down below as well so you guys can take a look at them and make up your own mind because I'm not here to tell you what to think. That is your job. All right, guys, I love you very much. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here and my lights are all now working. Great. I just screwed that up. Got all the way to the end of the video and I screwed it up. My lights are working. All right, guys. I love you very much. Wolverine's mother...